All right, so I'm back on the Unleashed My Rise. So now I finished all three of the, um, I was going to call them side stories, but they really were main stories because I was required to play all three of them. But uh, last time we ended up uh, on the Rhea Ripley storyline, ended up beating her in an ambulance match, so that's the end of that. So let's see what Rico has to say about this now that we finished all of them. Someone's been busy, hasn't she? I'd like to think I understood the assignment. That you have, and it's still the tip of the iceberg. have a fantastic opportunity for you. I'm listening. How would you like to try your hand at one of the most unique experiences in WWE? A position where you'll be able to set the agenda, take control of the whole of the WWE universe, and truly make a mark. And this magical mystery opportunity will let me do all that? Indeed, in the prestigious role of WWE Raw General what? Manager. Isn't that you? What, are you going on vacation or something? Well, now that you mention it, I may have plans. Aha! But this is fertile ground for you too. Stepping into a WWE authority role, applying your talents to the other side of sports entertainment. Sure, booking may be a balancing act sometimes, but you already know that from your work as co-owner of TBD. I mean, why do I have the option here? Because, um, I'm curious how they present it, though. Is it just going to be, like, my GM or, like, cutscenes or... Because I have the option to say no, but I'm assuming it's because if I want to back out because I'm required to do this. I'm just going to say I'm I'll do it. I'm not convinced that this offer isn't just because you want a vacation. But nonetheless, I'll do it. Splendid. I can't wait to catch my flight. Um, uh, see you in action. Okay, so... So when do I start? <laughs> well, I should start heading to the airport. So... How's now? Seriously? Don't worry. Raw practically GMs itself. Sure. Bianca needs a challenger for Survivor Series. Bailey and Becky have both been bothering me incessantly about their booking, and the suits in Stamford are especially sensitive to ratings right now. But you'll figure it out. All that GMs itself? Are you sure that's it? Yes. Oh, wait. No. Charlotte needs an opponent for tonight. Actually, this is a good way for you to set the tone of how you'll be running Raw. Every match should tell a story, so you just need to decide which story you'd like to tell. Such as? Are you going to choose an up-and-comer like Nikita Lyons to challenge the Queen? Maybe someone she has a lot of history with, like Rhea Ripley. Or maybe you want to dig into Charlotte's past a bit further. She goes way back with Natalia including the feud that made Charlotte the first woman to hold all major singles titles in WWE. So, what kind of story do you want to tell? Who will you choose to take on Charlotte? Okay, so honestly, like, uh, obviously probably thinking, like, Natalia would be the obvious choice for me, in which I don't know if I'm going to be playing this match or what, but Nikita Lyons could be interesting because I don't think we've seen her appear in this My Eyes. We have seen Rhea... Obviously, in Natalia, so I'm gonna say Nikita Lyons. I think Nikita Lyons would offer an interesting challenge. I have no hard feelings, despite her involvement with the Beacon. And I like the idea of pushing an up and comer. Fantastic choice! Well, good luck to you. I have every confidence. And just a word of advice do try to be as neutral as possible as GM. You may find yourself rooting for the talent you put forth. Sometimes even as strongly as if you were in the ring yourself. Evie is the head of the WWE GM. Okay, this is not the direction I thought this My Rise would go. Why am I a GM now and I'm trying to make my mark in WWE? This is weird. Like, am I... <laughs> There's a new boss on Monday. There she is. It's Cap. <laughs> like, am I playing these matches? Am I watching them? Like, what is this? I, yeah, I don't know. Like, this is weird. Like, unless it morphs into like a story where like, book myself in a title match or something, I don't know. I, I should just let it play out before making fun of it or dismissing it. But, you know.
Honestly, if all three of the choices were um, someone we've already seen, then I would have picked Natalia, but because we haven't seen the key, Dennis my rise, I just picked her. I'm still not sure if I'm playing this or not. I really wonder how close I am to finishing this, because I feel like I've been playing this for a while, man. It's a shame that she got hurt in real life uh, not too long for coming back. So I kind of wonder what the direction was going to be for her. No false bravado, always personal, always physical. Yeah, and always maintaining supreme confidence and savage ferocity. I mean, if I'm playing these matches and I'm booking them, it could be interesting playing as other people, but doesn't that defeat the whole purpose of my rise where you're playing as your main character? I get the Psycho Sally stuff, but at least that was like her mentor and still like a fictional character. And it's kind of funny because I prefer playing as actual wrestlers and everything, which is why I kind of wish Road to WrestleMania would come back, where they pick certain superstars and just write stories specifically for them instead of having to be a creator wrestler. Which I'm sure that's probably not a popular opinion because people like playing as a creator wrestler. They have attachment to creator wrestlers. Um, but that's just the, how, what I would like to see personally. But like, like I said, it just feels weird. If, I'm not playing as my superstar anymore. It's yeah, look at this. As the captain helms the ship as I'm actually playing as Nikita. So far, it looks I'm to defeat Charlotte Flair. I'm not required to win though, so it doesn't really matter. But let's not give her GM of the year just yet. I agree, Corey. This is a good start, but let's see what else Cap has planned. Yeah, I don't know. This is weird to me. I'm try I'm really trying to bite my tongue here and just let it play out, but so far it just seems so weird. Reversing the reversal. Reverse the reversal. Okay, so Nikita has come back and iron jaw. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Honestly, thinking about this from a tactical standpoint, I should have chose Rhea because she has the highest overall, so that'd give me the best advantage, but we just threw her in the ambulance in a local medical facility, so I think she should be done for a while. I mean, but also, like I said, I'm not required to win this, but Charlotte is I'm probably not going to win this because I got destroyed as Psycho Sally. Charlotte's insane, dude. All the way to the floor. She's taking things to ringside. Okay, big breaker there. And she finds an answer to Charlotte. Yeah, I'm going to do a damage taunt because I really need to get some damage here. Damn, I backfired. <laughs> I've lost so much vitality. I, w I probably could just get myself DQ'd. Like, if, <laughs> imagine if there's people that speed run this. Yeah, I'm getting killed here. Be contained. Pulled back into the hip toss. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Leg sweep from the outside. Very clever. Yeah, this is my big uh, comeback here. <laughs> Being a comeback, I do have it. I could use. Into a mistake. Chop block. Target. She can end it here. Okay, this actually helps me. I'll take the momentum here. I need it. Not even a near fall there. Charlotte is aggressive right now, though. My God, I'm absolutely done here. I have no damage on her whatsoever. And Charlotte displaying this kind of demeanor must be an inherited trait. I hurry up for grab her. Ah, oh, she still got the buff. What an aggressive side slam. Oh, it's my one shot. No! Oh, I didn't even mean to do that, but all right. Just hot shot it to the 
Wow, I'm screwed. That was my one shot to come back. I have like no damage on Charlotte. This is insane. Planted with a face buster. She might be in some trouble now. Yeah, as the queen no doubt wanted to put her in her place a little more emphatically that time. Ooh. Yeah, at least I have some damage on her, but man. Might be worth it just to attempt the uh the mini game here. Just, just a stunner. Might be my only chance. Back and forth we go. Yeah, if I can win this, that would help, but I honestly don't see myself winning this with Charlotte because without resilience, I don't have a safety net. I mean, I have comeback, but maybe I'll do a comeback after this. Okay, she used Iron Jaw, though. So now I just have Iron Jaw. Oh! Face. Classic powerhouse display from Lions. Saw it coming and got out. If I could have, if I could have stunned her there, that would have been big. I still have a chance though. Forks the yes. By throwing an elbow into the midsection. I gotta get her on the ground. And Charlotte got rocked. Come on, hurry up! Oh! Okay, she has resiliency though. Cover. Should I just try it again? This is risky, but I'm gonna do it. No! <laughs> that was such a risk, dude. Natural selection, it's over. Oh, Dragon Sleeper. Okay, never mind. I'm honestly surprised she didn't tap me out with that, because it's some cheese the computer likes to do. Well, I, I'm basically done unless I can reverse her finisher, to be honest. I don't really... I, there's really no other way out because I don't have comeback anymore. I can try a momentum taunt, but yeah, I'm pretty much screwed here. I put it all on the line going for the back-to-back -back finishers. I mean, I have Iron Jaw, but I don't know if it's really going to help me, to be honest. Oh, big reversal. Oh, my God. There's hope. There's hope. There's hope. There's hope. Snap suplex. Oh, what? Yeah, I can do that too. Yeah, well, what is this goofiness going on here? I don't know what's happening. DDT, what am I doing? No! I gotta get her on the ground. I could end this. Pull back attack. No, Charlotte's insane, dude. Lions is wasting no motion. Nikita seizing every opening. Come on. What? <laughs> Why did you do a regular pin when I hit finisher? Did I bump the analog stick or something? That was so weird. She's trying. Of course. That whatever happened to me probably just cost me the match. And natural selection is over. That is so dumb. I mean iron jaw, but yeah, it's not gonna help. Dude, I had why that I don't know if I bumped the sticker if that was a bug, but I swear to you I hit the finisher button. I don't know what happened. Oh my god, I had that too, man. It's so dumb. That was a good match and I had it, and then it just did a regular pan and then my finisher got reversed again. Dude, I'm upset about that. I'm not gonna lie. I know it doesn't matter because it's not my storyline. I'm not required to win, but dude, I, I just want to know what would have happened if she would reverse my finisher when I tried it the first time or not. We'll never know now, but it did a regular pin for no reason. That is so lame. GM of Raw, did you do a career pivot? <laughs> Still an in-ring competitor, but this was an opportunity I couldn't refuse. Didn't think Regal would let me refuse it, actually. Being an authority figure in WWE does seem like a rite of passage. That's very cool. Listen, this job is a real responsibility. You have superstars slipping into your DMs, catching you backstage asking for favors. Don't be wooed by the attention and the fun parts of the job and neglect the real work. Isn't GM or promoter just moving names around on a whiteboard? Kidding. <laughs> 
I'm taking this seriously. Hey, why don't you come to a taping and see firsthand? Besides, how cool would it be to see me running the show for the first time? Well, it'll certainly be a departure from our TBD days. Oh my god, Becky's already DMing me, I guess. I know you have a big decision on who's going to be chanting Bianca for the title next. I'd love for the opportunity to face her at Survivor Series. Hit me back so I can prove I'm the right choice. I think I saw a message from Bailey in there, too. Oh my god. Oh, Shotzi's back. Are you serious? <laughs> what do you have to say? I'm not here to fight. That's too bad. Really? <laughs> That's too bad. Go at it. Can we chill long enough? For you to listen to my idea and what's that survivor series i know for a fact that not only has raw not announced a main event but regal had nothing in the plans yet so let's take the bull by the horns and do something truly spectacular war games what i can't just book a war games match shots yeah do it who cares man? why not are you GM in name only? No, I mean, I love war games as much as the next person, but it's not a match to be taken lightly. You need a reason, something that merits putting two teams who want each other's throats inside a double ring cage to battle it out with abandon. Who would even be the captains? I captained my team in NXT and I was excellent. Ah, so this is the classic. My pitch is that I should be in a main event pitch, right? There are rules to booking. Excuse me, but when did Little Miss TBD Rebel, who puts people through tables, become a lawful, good rule follower? Don't you ever just want to smash things for the hell of it anymore? It's bad booking. Actually, I do. Actually, I do. I don't want to be GM. Actually, you may have a point. I do miss that. So let's screw the so-called rules and do this. Put yourself in it against me, and we can absolutely destroy each other in that cage. We pick teams, go all out, and millions of people tune in to watch the joyful carnage. The two of us are perfect for war games. You're the captain, and I already drive a tank to the ring for crying out loud. You know what, Shotzi? It might not be a terrible idea. Let me think on it. That's all I'm asking for. Can you even do a War Games match in the Raw arena, though? <laughs> Got Troy's back. I wanted to stop by and congratulate you on your new role. So, congrats. It's only temporary while Regal does whatever he's doing on vacation. But thanks. And giving Nikita Lyons the chance against Charlotte? I wish Nikita had been able to pull off the win, but that was still a great matchup. I love that you have a commitment to newer talent as GM. I actually feel the same way about pushing the next generation. Always have. And as your liaison to NXT, I wanted to offer you an opportunity. What's that? An opportunity to showcase more of our top talent on Raw in a next-gen battle royal. Eh, Nikita probably has a leg up from her match with Charlotte, but it'll be great for all talent involved to get the spotlight and some reps in. Um. Sure. I love that idea. I'll set it up for our next episode. I wonder if Sally's going to be involved in this, if I can book her in a match for the title or something. That's, that's my prediction now. If I could have a minute. What is it, Troy? I honestly don't have time for your tone tonight. I'm trying to manage a show. My tone? I would never use a tone with you. I, I think you're doing a great job, top notch. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Oh, you're serious. I guess now that I'm the management, you have to suck up to me. I'm not sucking up. I, I think your ideas are genius, boss. I have faith in them, but that doesn't mean I'm not still nervous in this role. But what can I help you with? Yeah, Becky and Bailey, they're being 
particularly difficult in hounding us to be named Bianca's next challenger at Survivor Series. Ah, I'm sure they snuck into your DMs too, but I'm used to superstars pestering us for opportunities. <laughs> no offense. But this is getting out of hand. How do you want me to handle it? Make a suggestion or give Troy a hard time. You know what? With the way Troy's treating me at the beginning, I'm gonna give him a hard time, man. I don't know why you think this is rocket science, Troy. Just have Becky and Bailey face each other. Winner gets the title opportunity. So easy, any capable WWE producer could think of it. Which I guess you're not. Damn, that's right. Of course, I'll set it up. So sorry, boss. You're absolutely right. I'll do better next time. Really appreciate your guidance and support. <sighs> I could get used to this version of you, Troy. Book the match. I am booking the match. NXT Gen Battle Royal. Wow, Captain's wasting no time pushing new talent. Okay, so who am I playing? Is this Nikita again or like... I hope this isn't over the top rope, otherwise I don't care because uh, if I'm not required to win, like... These over the top rope Battle Royals can go on forever. I actually, I wonder if Sally's gonna be in this man. Okay, we'll skip this we saw Nikita. Oh my god. Thea is here! Oh hell yeah! And her opponents! First, representing Chase University from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thea. Having come straight out of high school to NXT, Thea has made it clear she doesn't want her youth to define her. Yeah, Thea Hill wants to prove that she really is a grown woman who can hold her own. And that means no more waiting, no more asking for permission. Time to stop being a student and start teaching lessons. Thea Hill is a true ball of energy with endless potential. He's been living up to that potential and is ready for the next level. Well, time will tell if she's got the aggression to get there. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm, am I still getting... Because I know you get attribute points from uh, beating stories, but is there still going to be, like, challenge matches in this then? Or... I I really should just let this play out instead of keep speculating, but still. Oh my god, Wendy Chu is here now. I'm just letting all the NXT shine on the main uh, show here, I guess. Wendy Chu. When Wendy Chu gets pushed, oh, so I guess choosing Nikita locked me into these matches, but I'm kind of wondering now if I would have chose the other two, what would have been. It's kind of funny because I don't really keep up with NXT that much anymore. And Only like a little bit with clips occasionally, it but so like this is <laughs> if I would have known that I would not have chose Nikita. Yes, I if I would have known it locked me into this. I looking back I would have chosen Natalia, like I said, but oh well. Plans on waking up everyone to her potential. I disagree. I'd say there's a 50-50 chance she sleepwalks through this one. Fallon Henley is ready to oh, so far these are people we've seen before. They've appeared in the My Rise. You have to be careful about Fallon Henley. Should knock your teeth out and keep him as a souvenir. You can feel Fallon's focus. She has an incredible intensity and is a one-woman ambush. I've had the pleasure of calling a lot of Fallon Henley's matches, and I can tell you, she's a straight-up problem for any opponent. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm playing as Nikita, but if I get the choice, that'd be pretty cool. Blair Davenport. I think we fought her as Sally a couple of times. Blair Davenport, the self-proclaimed scourge of the women's division. 
Yeah, a mix of gothic charisma and cold-hearted fury. funny because I feel like they're kind of overdoing the Battle Royals in this My Rise. Maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but I recall playing at least two others before this and possibly more. said no to Justine's idea that would have let me proceed. Some of the biggest oh. superstars have oh, God. here on Raw in one match. Our GM has outdone herself. Okay, so oh my god. G I might get about to get eliminated in record time here. I thought there was gonna be more people so I didn't have my hands on the controller. So I am playing Nikita, by the way, in case you couldn't tell, and uh, it just said attempt to win again, so... So I could use the aggressive strat, because I don't have to win, but I think uh, playing on Legend, it really doesn't work, so I'll just uh, do some damage and then try to win people afterwards. Oh my god, I thought I was about to get clotheslined out right there. This is gonna be nasty kick right Okay, now. well <laughs> he is gone. Hard to come back from that kind of impact. Clothesline strat actually worked with the computer, I can't believe it. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Oh man, by the hair. Hair whip! Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Able to reverse! So both uh, Fallon and Wendy do not have paybacks. That's interesting. We could have an elimination here. The amount of force behind yeah, I could use some momentum here. Things taking a turn for her now. Lions keen off. Keen off. What? <laughs> She's staying elusive. Yeah, this is just turning goofy here. Can you can you fight someone else? Right the nose. Oh, that'll rattle you. Yeah, honestly, Iron Jaw in a battle royal is pretty big. Um, so I'm definitely gonna hold on to that in case they try to stun me and then eliminate me. I'll actually have some defense. Speaking of stunning here, this is a big opportunity. If I can stun Wendy, I can get her out pretty easily. Stun. Okay, clothesline strike. Could be my friend here. Stop, please just stop. Are you serious? Why? <laughs> oh my god. Devastating impact to the back. Alliance is in this. Okay, I might be able just to throw out normally. Let's see how quickly this devolves. See it drop kick connects. I just got so lucky right there. It would have been all Blair's fault if I would have got thrown out there. Alright, can you can you okay, you are such a problem. Can you please go after someone else? That's what you get. That's what you get, the cheese right there. Oh god. And Nikita capitalizes there. I don't even know what just happened there. All right, can you just let me? <laughs> can you stop for one second and just let me do a move? She sent flying into the corner. Reversal on top of reversal. She sent to the outside. Twenty-two has been eliminated. 
Good. Oh, caught by the back elbow. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Tight spot for Henley here. Okay, she's done. It's time to get out. All right, Charlotte, you watching this? This is not even my main My Rise character, but I'm getting revenge. Forced out of the ring. It's over. Nikita Lions with the victory. Here is your winner, Nikita Lions. Yeah, honestly, they're kind of going a little crazy these over the top rope battle royals. I don't know why. A huge victory tonight. This win might have put her ahead of the pack. She certainly grabbed the spotlight with this victory. All right, cool. Except that's not cap, so why do I care? <laughs> There's a new boss on Monday Raw. Monday Night Raw. Didn't even get me a picture in a suit on the banner. Come on now. <laughs> Come to congratulate me on a successful show. I was just out back talking to Justine about the successful battle royal. So you didn't see the number one contender match with Becky and Bailey? No, that match practically booked itself. Why? Who won? Who are we putting against Bianca at Survivor Series? We have a problem. Damage control ran in during the match. And at first it looked like maybe a straightforward DQ victory for Becky. But then she got irked and went after them. And technically the bell rang at some point, but with all the fighting that broke out outside the ring, nobody really won. And we still need a challenger for Bianca. All right, I'll step in. I'll book myself for the title. If I may make a meager suggestion, Survivor Series is right around the corner. You may just have to step up as GM and make a decision. No, we still have one Raw left before Survivor Series. Let's do a rematch. Becky versus Bailey to determine Bianca's challenger. Do you really think the match will go any differently this time around? I do. Because as much as it pains me to admit it, you're right about one thing. I need to step up as GM, so I'll be serving as special guest referee. Okay, finally, I'm doing something as Cap. Here we go. All due respect, what was that Becky Bailey match? I mean, it was entertaining. The controversy is good, but Survivor Series is really soon. I know, I know. I'm already holding a rematch. I'm taking care of it. I'm even stepping in as the special guest ref. Listen, I can tell from the episode of Raw that match really put your attention into it. fantasy booking without a solid build is fun. But you took your eyes off the champion, you know, the person who puts the butts in the seats. I said, I know. I'm going to share a promoter secret. It's easier to do your job when you know what's ahead of you, as in who's challenging Bianca at Survivor Series. How do I do that? Stop being all coy and instant, you know how. <laughs> you said you're going to be the ref, put your finger on the scale, but who do you want to win? Who do you think would be a better match against Bianca at the PLE and get more people to watch? I'll say Becky. Well, there you have it. When you come into Raw, my invitation stands. See the stripes next week? I'll be there. Alright. Becky Lynch versus Bailey will face each other again next week with the special guest referee, Cap. Alright, here we go. Honestly, I thought they were just going to make me like pick someone and then play the match, but this is better, so I actually get to do something as Cap now. Very bizarre storyline so far. Welcome, a superstar who defines it, it just seems kind of weird to me that they would do a storyline where you become the GM when there's literally a mode in the game called my GM, you know? Just a very odd decision for me. Again, though, let it play out. Maybe Cap will quickly get lured back into the main roster. Cap looks like she is itching to throw hands tonight. And she's come to the right place. Her opponent wants nothing more than to take that big indie reputation. And what? I'm the ref. Why are they talking like I'm wrestling? It's time for indie cred to be put to the test. Comes Becky. Look out. Here comes the history maker, the man, Becky Lynch. I'll tell you what, you cannot understate what Lynch has meant 
to sports entertainment and to women everywhere. And the participants, first, from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch! A main eventer, a former double champion, left WWE to have a child and returned without losing a step. Well, that's just the man doing the man things. All right, well, I don't know if it's going to end with a cutscene or what, but if it's just a straight match, then I'm going to try to do my best to actually ref this right down the middle. So, let's see, though. Becky Lynch, a woman who's done it all, yet continually improves herself with every match. And that means that every time the man competes, we are seeing her at her best. Every time I see this Bailey model, I just laugh because when they first revealed it, the 2K people on Twitter during the Rumble, um, they showed a screenshot of it and the model looked terrible. Everyone made fun of it, even Bailey commented on it. And then they pulled the photo and they slightly reworked this model, so it does look a little bit better, but in my opinion, it's still not the best. Um, it looked way worse before. And allegedly, um, I don't know if this is true or not because I haven't like dove into PC files too much, but apparently the old. The, the old Bailey model is still in the file, so... <laughs> uh, if that's the case, that's pretty funny, because it looks terrible. Okay, well, here we go. I'm not even going to switch out of referee mode, all right? I'm going to try to... Oh, no, I actually... It's making me... Oh, my God. I got to help Becky. Never mind, then. Okay, I guess that's why they made me choose someone in the DMs. We'll see, Saxton. Maybe the GM wants one over the other. It's nearly impossible not to pick a side. You're such a cynic. I'm a realist. Okay, so I gotta help Bailey with, uh, I'm sorry, Becky with the fast count, but, uh... Sit out, sl but, uh, I guess I can't get ejected here. Yeah, I gotta play, like, an actual 2K24 ref here. I gotta, I gotta block the camera constantly. Good, good. A quick reversal by Bailey. I gotta say though, it's nice because they brought back these uh, match types, special referee and ambulance and casket match. It's nice to see they're actually using them in the My Rise. So I uh, we haven't I haven't seen casket match yet, so I'm not sure if they do use that or not, but Oh Staying on the count here. Right, come on, get in the ring. Come on now, come on. Just waiting for, uh, just waiting for, uh, Becky to go for a pin. Perfect pin response. Wow, look at that. Or perfect pin count. Right. You give up. You give up. You did not give up. I can't confirm that. <laughs> I mean, I'm playing completely fair right now, but as soon as uh, Becky goes for any type of pin, I'm fast counting just for the objective. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Help Becky Lynch win the match without being ejected. Alright. Okay, Bailey used uh, instant recovery there. You give up? She fights her way out of the armbar. As soon as we see that main handle slam, it's over. 
I wanted to play this fair, but unfortunately it's making me pick a side here. Becky just mocking her now. <laughs> hey guys, she's dangerously close to a count out loss. <laughs> I tried it. I tried it. That was crazy. I should have lost more uh, meter from that. No contact. That's a rope break. <laughs> Bad rope break call. You know, I think she was in the ropes there. <laughs> oh my god. Try it again. If I get ejected, I think I have to redo this. So. Significantly rushed count. The referee is absolutely forgetting their training. Now listen, guys. I have objectives here. You don't understand. I mean, Becky, if she just uses signature move, I mean. Lynch with a back kick to the body, hooking the leg, and. Try again? Alright, screw job, it's over. Uh, I can't wait to get a DM from Bailey now. <laughs> and Regal, I'm fired. It's over. I'm ruining Raw. What was that, Cap? That match was rigged, unfair, cheating, GM, Miss Dum Dum. <laughs> you actually have a point, Bailey. Not cool, dude. I try not to get involved at this level, but I have to agree. Fix this, Cap. Oh, Triple H himself. Listen, what do you want me to do? It was my objective. I had no choice, guys. It's Geneva Rhodes. Geneva, bail me out of this. Help me out. Well, that was something. Hey, you were the one who said I should put my finger on the scale. Yeah, but I thought that and don't get caught part was implied. <sighs> Guess not. I wasn't actively trying to get caught. Too bad you don't have the chance to course correct the championship match before Survivor Series. I guess that's why they added that first objective to do the fast count. Because if the objective was just have be um, Becky or whoever you chose win, then you could have technically done it fair. But then the cutscene wouldn't make sense. So that's why they added that first one. But maybe there. I do. How? Survivor Series is this weekend. You can't send Becky and Bailey back out there tonight for another rematch. No. But there's another option. As someone said recently, I'm Miss TBD Rebel, not a lawful good rule follower. And Raw is a three hour show. There's an announcement I need to make. All right, Miss TBD Rebel. Whatever you've got up your sleeve, good luck. All right, how do I ruin Raw now? <laughs> What's next? A new story. Breaking news, GM Cap will address the WWE Universe later tonight with a major announcement. Alright, listen, Triple H threatened me, alright, I have to do something. It's Chelsea. This is the second time we've seen the acting Raw General Manager in the ring tonight, but this time, she has a special announcement. Here's hoping this goes more smoothly than her stint as special... Please put referee. yourself in a title match, that'd be hilarious. It's GM! I'm not deaf to the concerns of the WWE Universe. Specifically, that my involvement in our number one contender match earlier tonight may have made it look like management was biased towards Becky Lynch. I assure you, my intent as GM is simply to put on the best show for the WWE Universe. And that applies to not just Raw, but Survivor Series. As 
such, it is my duty to inform you that Bianca Belair will not be defending the Women's World Championship. Yeah, I'm ruining this show. Let's go. Bianca's being pulled from Survivor Series? She will not be defending this weekend because it's clear Bailey and Becky Lynch are not done yet. I just hope they have allies to rally to their side. Eight fighters, two teams of four. War Games! War Games at Survivor Series? I'm not missing this one. Well, we're paid to be there, Saxton. I know, but it's still incredibly exciting. Okay, how did I how did I really fix this though? <laughs> Guess Bianca will defend on the following Raw after the War Games match with whoever's team wins. I don't know. Should just put herself in the title match. That would have been hilarious. All right, breaking news: War Games at Survivor Series. Becky Lynch and Bailey will captain a team. The winning team's captain will receive a Women's World Title match against Bianca Belair. With less than a week to assemble their teams, who will Becky and Bailey choose? Oh my god, War Games is a brilliant idea. Who thought of that, all caps? We're still looking to have a creative GM who gives credit and opportunities to the people who thought them up in the first place. I think she is angry. Yes. Hey, okay, Becky and Bailey just chilling here. I probably should be upset at you for putting another hurdle in front of my title match. But honestly... Fair play. Glad we're okay. We are. And I respect your hustle. You've made a lot of bold choices since coming to WWE. It's one of the reasons I want you to be on my War Games team. What? Really? I like your instincts. Especially when you get in trouble and have to think quickly on your feet. Heck, I even trust your instincts. Team with me, and I'll let you pick the rest of the War Games team. Uh, let me think about it. Okay, I'm assuming now Bailey's also going to ask me to be on the team. You really did it this time, didn't you, you dummy? I think you'd be happy that you're getting another opportunity to earn the title match in War Games. Should have just booked the War Games match from the start, honestly. Want to be on my team? Why do you want me on your team? I think it's pretty clear from your time as GM that you've been going into business for yourself here and just doing whatever you can to scrape by. And that's exactly what I look for in damage control. So what do you say? Join me, Dakota, and Io in the fight to secure my WWE Women's World Championship match? I'll get back to you. Geneva Rose is back. What do you have to say about all this? Hey, I've been looking for you. I thought we were going to meet outside of catering. <laughs> Turns out I was pretty busy in here. Both Becky and Bailey want me to be on their war games team. You can't be serious. You lost this up so badly and they both want you on their team? Hmm. What can I say? I'm a catch. I swear there's something in the water around here that allows you to walk away from the consequences of your actions unscathed. <laughs> I'm sure putting yourself into the main event while you're also acting GM will be no different. <laughs> Thanks for another great promoter lecture. Look, I know you're gonna do it anyway. Who are you teaming with? Decision brain. Oh, it actually warns you. Okay, so this, I guess, this is the first major decision. The other rest of ones were kind of minor things like uh, slight different cutscenes and dialogue. Important decisions that are crucial to my eyes are marked with. Uh, Arrows. These icons signify a decision that changes the trajectory of your story or which superstars might align with you in the future. Try playing Undisputed Unleashed multiple times to experience the opposite path when presented with this icon. You'll see different stories from these choices. Okay, so let's just break this down here. So Becky said if I team with her, I get to choose the other people, which is interesting. And if I team with Bailey, essentially I'm joining damage control. Um, yeah, and she said EO and Dakota on the team along with Bailey and myself, but uh, I'm gonna choose Becky And then I guess if I want to go back and do the other decision I would I have to play all the way back up to this point I can't like ah whatever 
Becky said she'd let me pick the rest of the team. I'm joining her side. Can't wait for you to get absolutely no flack for putting yourself into the match that you set up. Have you decided who else you'll ask to join you and Becky? No. <laughs> oh. Time for war games. Becky said she'll let you pick your teammates. Select two allies that would like Becky to take on Bailey's team. Oh my god, Fanny's in here? Are you serious? <laughs> Why? I thought you still had NXT. Sally is Charlotte. Oh my god, Psycho Sally. We start Nikki Cross. Is there anyone? Oh, Trish is an option too? Are you serious? It was just okay. Justine was 92 overall. That solves that. Oh, wait, I can actually see what Sally's overall is 67. No wonder why she got destroyed. Fanny, okay. So, okay, let me just break this down. If I'm choosing based off my favorites, I would choose Natalia and Trish, but I think this is an opportunity for something a little bit different. I think. <sighs> Otherwise, have we seen all these people in this My Rise? I think the answer is actually yes. I mean, we've seen Alexa Bliss, but I don't think in a match. I think I'm gonna pick Psycho Sally. I know, like, obviously, like, Sally's a low overall, and, like, like why would you do that? But I think it makes sense with, uh, Sally. Um. Yeah, so. <laughs> I actually the most awkward render ever. I kind of want to pick Trish, but Fanny would be kind of hilarious. But also, like, I really need two low overall people. <laughs> Okay, I'm honestly I'm torn between Trish or Alexa Bliss because we haven't seen uh Bliss in a match unless I'm misremembering. I just remember seeing her in cutscenes and that's it. Team overall 85. I wonder I guess the best combination. Okay, Trish, Justine. Alright, I, I really want to do Trish, but I'm just going to pick Alexa Bliss for someone different that we haven't really seen. Right, there you go. This is a very weird team, but here you go. Well, good luck. I'm sure it'll be interesting. Yep. <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to be required to win this or not. Go to match. I will go to match. Alright, War Games Survivor Series. Who you got? Team Becky or Team Bailey? There's a new boss on Monday Night Raw. And she's doing a terrible job. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. War Games. The following is a women's War Games match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages with one member of each team starting the match at regular intervals. Alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins. The match could be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the War Games! Cap wanted a war, and now she has one. You know, Shotzi's pissed about this because she's not in there. I, I definitely feel like Shotzi is going to be a major player in probably the final storyline. I agree. Yep. This is all true. And besides, anyone who competes in this type of match deserves our respect. Nah, she's a terrible GM. The captain is ready to call the shots. But like I said, Shotzi is definitely... She definitely has to be like involved in the final storyline because I feel like they set that up and they're kind of teasing it a little bit more where now she's mad that I basically stole her idea without credit. <laughs> Good lord.
representing Damage Control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Understand this. Just teleport the backwards, or is that me? Am I seeing this? She will do bad things to good people to get that women's world championship. And that's why I love her. None of those things will make a bit of a difference once the door of that cage closes behind her. I got 67 overall Psycho Sally. Things make so much more sense now why that Charlotte Flair match is such a struggle. 67 overall. <laughs> Bailey's going to survey the battlefield, then her forces will attack. I I'm kind of wondering though, because it pointed out how this is a major decision branch, how it's going to change. Like, where is it going to go from here if it's different? Like, I don't know. My team's kind of weird. I just chose them because I feel like I had to have Sally in there just because, like, he's basically my uh, protege. And then I chose Alexa Bliss just to see her in the match. Defeat damage control. We're required to win this one. Not only is pride on the line here, Cole, but depending on which team wins, we're going to have either Becky Lynch or Bailey as the number one contender to Bianca Belair's title. So War Games obviously That's was introduced true, last year, which first. was uh, no very cool. Game. Honestly, I never thought we'd see this in a game. Goal. I'm going to be I'm honest sure with you, but I'm glad we did. Yep. I'm not going to lie, though. Even though they introduced it and I played it a couple times, like, oh, this is cool. Like, it's nothing I'd play, like, constantly because it's kind and of a... Never saw that coming. Like a huge thing to, you know, start up and have to get through, you know. Sometimes it get get a little clunky even with the two rings. Across that gap and into the other ring. Big reversal. Look, like I'm doing like no damage to Bailey whatsoever. Okay, see you later. Landing, but she'll get some space in the other ring. Big overhand. Okay, so it looks like my team has the advantage because Becky Lynch is coming in next, which is pretty big. Nice takedown. It's about to be an uphill battle. Yeah. This is clock hit zero. Boom. They're on the loose, looking to change the landscape of this match. Nothing fancy here. Look at the amount of members on each team now. This truly has the potential to become one-sided. Here we go. Yeah, that's what you can do in war games. But of course I missed. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. I can swap to, to Becky as well. I want to hit this springboard. What? Okay, I was in the corner somehow. No, oh, I think I sort of hit her. Yeah, we're hot swapping here. She's getting fired up. Oh my she god, the so computer cool. wasted my rage. That you've got to be kidding me because I swapped. That is. Oh, that is so dumb, dude. Oh, that was a complete waste. Why would the computer do that, dude? Complete waste of that ability. Poor Kai's coming in. It's now two on two. Getting set up for something in the corner. I believe when one of my teammates comes out, I can switch to them and then bring in a weapon. So we'll try to do that. I was trying to lead uh, Becky over there, but look at that counter from Bailey. Trap the arm. Big neck breaker. Absolutely. This could be right, come here. for Dakota. Fisherman suplex. Nice. This looks bad for Kai. And that was an efficient Switched, uh, form of offense with that move. Becky for a little bit, I guess. Stop it away. Oh no. 
Okay, switch to Cap. Okay, the computer is instant recovery. I guess we'll go back to Becky. Look at this. Right to the spot. God, there's corner stomps and like chops give so much stun, I feel like. Treating the torso to yet another attack. Come here. The Psycho Sally's coming up next, so we'll try to uh, get a weapon in here. I think you can do more than one weapon, actually, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah, let me get a weapon. Alright, the Psycho one here. Psycho Sally's gonna make this more interesting here. She's truly a psycho, folks. Oh, a <laughs> Don't worry, guys. You'll be all right. You're both like 94, 95 overall. They are fading off the WWE I can't really screw around too much because I have. To, I'm required to win this one, so I gotta really be careful here. Switching to Becky here. A unique splash. Driving her opponent down. Oh, and she got out of there. They're gonna send their opponent into the other turnbuckle. Up oh, reverses course. Crushing clip. Oh, the table beats it on fire. Oh, can't watch this. Can't watch this. All right, I think I can finally get my uh, my flaming table spot I've been waiting for. Okay, Eo's coming in. Oh, I'm about to get hit with the road plant. Oh my god! Oh, German through the flaming table. Sally, can we help out Cap or what? He's gonna keep blocking me. I kind of want to use his other weapon too, but it's kind of a cluster. It's kind of like, that's kind of what I was saying. Even though there's two rings, it can get really like claustrophobic, honestly, because like just people bumping into each other constantly, unless you can get them in the other ring. And then if you dare to do a pin while there's people in the other ring, everyone rushes over the other side, so. Yeah, I'm literally trying to, okay, switch to Sally, screw it. Bliss is coming in there. Grab a weapon here. No table, why not? Trash can, and I'm gonna switch to someone else. Sharp shooter from Cap. Okay, can we just get some people in the other ring, man? That's what I'm talking about with this match. There we go. Get weapon thing come up when I switch people. Manhandle slam. Bring the table up here. Oh, 
Cap's just doing cap things over there. Okay, Tamina apparently is an honorary damage control member. I guess this was written before, like, Asuka and Kyrie going, so... Now, here's why I need to be careful because literally this could end at any point. Who am I even playing as? Okay, I'm playing as Bliss to stun. Switch to Cap, I guess. What is going on? <laughs> She knows what kind of fight she's in now. That is, if she can remember where she is. She said, I'm going to for this, Corey. This is going way out of hand. And that talk about the hang time. And that was an effective attack, guys. Yeah, if I can get Bliss to go up, she can go for a... Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. She can go for a Twisted Bliss. That's nasty. Yeah, I, I genuinely don't even know what's going on. I'm trying to switch to Alexa Bliss. Yeah, Becky's lost her mind. Twisted Bliss! <laughs> okay, well, I tried. Does anyone else have a finisher? Cap almost has one. That's about it. Rock God. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and deliver you guys uh, somebody here. here take Tamina. <laughs> A great amount of force sends her all the way to the other ring. Now, here you go. <laughs> Cap going for the sharpshooter on the other captain. This is pretty fitting. This has got to be it. It's over. As Sally's trying to pin someone, I think. Oh, uh, okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we technically eliminated two people. What did Sally even do to get the pin? She hit a finisher? After a predictably hard-fought war games match, here are our winners. What a war we just witnessed here. The best team won here tonight, and there's no denying that. They're going to be celebrating this win for a while. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. What is this? Does it have, like, the game loads so fast. are still celebrating their epic War Games victory. And why wouldn't they? You're now looking at the number one contender for the Women's World Championship and the GM who put her in that position. This will go a long way in shaping the future of the women's division on Raw. Oh, what? Full-size tank? I guess she graduated into something larger. She's not stopping. This is going to be... I'm about to get killed on live, uh, uh premium live event. No way. Becky's standing up there. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! Becky just died! I knew Shotzi was going to be involved in this somehow. Alexa Bliss and Psycho Sally just got out of there. Becky Lynch just died. She was straight up standing on top of the cage. I've had no problem with her. Yeah, I may have something to do with that. <laughs> Oops. Oops? I'm going to be out for months. Is that really all you have to say? Yep. <laughs> How about oops? I got carried away booking matches for forgetting to manage people. Why does the lighting look so bad in this room? At least room? that seems to be the case based on what I've pieced together. You're back. I was having a splendid time communing with the blue-footed booby of the Galapagos. But then, what? <laughs> I caught wind of a few questionable developments. 
We should talk. Oh, it's over. I swear, I had it all under control. I watched Shotzi crash a tank into the war games. How did she get that in the arena? Fair point. <laughs> and perhaps, even more egregiously, you announced war games without me. That's my thing. <laughs> Good point. I announced war games. I'm sorry? Respectfully, you're fired from being raw GM. Good. Thank I God. accept. It wasn't a question. All that being said, with our newly minted number one contender injured, we still need a challenger for Bianca. You know, what you've consistently failed to nail down. I hate rewarding you for this mess. But I'm a much better GM than you are, so I'm going to make the right choice for the show. And unfortunately, there's someone who helped lead her team to victory who's rightfully next in line for the opportunity. You'll be getting the championship match against Bianca Belair on the next Raw. I was excited, but I didn't make any noises. That was so weird. Okay, so here's what I'm confused about. Oh, the Disturbed Austin theme, by God. Here's what I'm confused about. It said it was a major, um, like, storyline branch. Would it not have just been, like, Bailey that falls off the cage instead with the cutscene, which is Bailey? So what was different about that? I guess I'll find out. Tonight, Cap is a big announcement with major implications for the WWE Women's World Championship here on Raw. Shotzi, do you have anything to say about that? I should be calling the police on you after what you just did. I have 35 points, so, uh, let's upgrade here. Uh, I'm just gonna keep putting it into running. 95 overall cap. Alright, well, we'll end it here. So, um, that storyline, I felt like it started off kind of weird, but it ended with the best cutscene so far when Shotzi literally is a full-size tank, rams it into the <laughs> into the cage, knocks <laughs> Becky Lynch off the cage. That was crazy. So, uh, yeah, I feel like we're probably towards the end game here, but uh, we'll have to wait and see until next time. So, I'll see you there.